Welcome back. You're watching Newsmaker Live on DBS with me, Kendall Burton. Our special guest this evening, Dr. Franklin uh, Bray, a clinical psychologist and religious leader with the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We're talking about the social ills affecting the society, St. Lucia. Um, before our break, we were, for quite a significant part of our program, we were looking at the, the role that the church has in addressing some of those issues, but we've neglected to look at how uh, some of those issues affect the church in turn. Um, we were talking about crime. Mm -hmm. The church has is not f um, exempt mm -hmm. from crime. You've suffered from crime as well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, take a call and then we'll come back to that, that conversation. Okay. Uh, good evening, caller. Mr. Burton, good night. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. And what's on your mind tonight? Well, I have many things on my mind. Yeah, let's be brief. And um, <laughs> I want to also say good night to your guest, Mr. Bray. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir. You are a man whom I all in high esteem. Okay. But I'm asking you, Mr. Bree, if you were uh, a juror tonight, would you return a, a guilty verdict on the church? Because <laughs> you, the you, church hold, you hold me in such high esteem. And uh, <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. Go ahead. Yeah, the um, the church, in my opinion, hmm. is um, is guilty for not um, fulfilling its obligation in society and I say I say this in um, in different aspects mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you look at um, the laws that may be implemented by by government it may not you know be in sync with what the Word of God say but yet still the, the church is is found sleeping the church is, is dreaming you look at um at gaming, you look at prostitution, you look at you look at crime, mm -hmm. you look at homosexuality. All these things are not in sync. You look at lesbianism. Mm -hmm. All these things are not in sync with the word of God. But yet, still the church is found sleeping. I took a you know I took a troll to the to the hospital there, and you see many many sick people on the on the hospital beds, and you see no light is is shining. What about the light that Christ speaks about? Let your light shine, you know? You know? Mm -hmm. So men will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not seeing no men of God throwing in their names in the, in the political circles. Is the church not supposed to let the light shine in the house of parliament? Mm -hmm. So I, I want you to, to deal with these, um, with these issues, you know? The point is, would you return a guilty verdict? And I want you to search your conscience, Mr. Bray. And be honest and be real. Keep it real, you know. <laughs> thank you very much. Caller, uh, call uh, and thank you very much for <laughs> for calling in. You see, you seem to know this caller very well. Um, and he seems to know you. See, well. and he seems to know me very well. <laughs> and he wants me to speak my mind. Um, I perhaps well, well enough to know that you've been holding back on us. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know how the caller knows I'm holding back, um, mm. but. Mm -hmm. The caller will approach me some other time. I'm quite sure he will. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll have a hung jury. I'll have a hung jury. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, I have I have looked at the society, and um, I I understand the the concerns of the society and mm -hmm. also the concerns of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, the church, in in, in, its, is in its distinct role, mm -hmm. has to. Go ahead. Okay, uh, in its distinct role has to meet the needs of the people yet has the challenge of how it's going to do that uh, without diluting the message that it has to proclaim or that it has to teach and how it's going to uh, embrace all those persons even with the the weaknesses and all of the needs uh, there, mm -hmm. there, there's an economic side to it Okay, well we can talk a little more about it. Let's okay. take that call first, then we can come back. To right. Just hold that thought. Very well. Good evening, caller. Hi, good evening. Um, mm -hmm. um, Kendall and good evening, Dr. Bray. Yes, good, Hi, evening. good evening. Yes, um, just need a bit of clarification. There are two mm -hmm. fundamental points I think you're making, mm -hmm. but I think they seem to be at odds with each other. Mm -hmm. um, I think they need to be probably clarified in terms of how they sync together. Mm -hmm. You made a point to the extent that... Um, the church should not be um, following the world, but that church should be following God. Mm -hmm. And you also made the point that um, basically 
the church should be open to all sorts of people. And both of those points, I agree. Um, however, they seem to be at odds. And my question is, how do we balance the two? Ah. Especially given that you have specific agendas out there. For example, two of the issues we've been speaking to mm-hmm. in terms of the whole issue of of women and the extent of participation, mm-hmm. knowing that you have a deliberate feminist movement. Mm-hmm. Okay, do, do we just embrace everything the feminist movement says mm-hmm. or, or, or is there a limit based on the word of God? Mm-hmm. And secondly, in terms of the, the, the homosexual um, uh, agenda the, the, the grouping mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. granted the church needs to be open and accept mm-hmm. uh, persons into worship as you indicated mm-hmm. but is there a limit mm-hmm. okay or is there a difference between accepting into worship and, and accepting condoning. into leadership so okay. we need to see how those two things yes Thank wonderful questions mm-hmm. wonderful yeah. questions okay, okay. okay. Uh, definitely yeah. paying attention. Yes, can no, okay, definitely mm-hmm. paying attention. Yeah. Um, the 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 fact is, um, everyone everyone needs to be uh, needs to have access to the church. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Uh, the, the, there will be limitations in, in the, um, how much they access they have to the leadership of the role because uh, leadership of the mm-hmm. church mm-hmm. Uh-huh. because the church um, has its principles has its biblical mandates and mm-hmm. those mandates inform the actions of the church so a, um, a, a, a person who worships at a particular church and uh, does not dictate um, what the principles of the church are mm-hmm. but the word of God dictates those principles and the individual has to fall in line with the word of God so yes you are free to participate mm-hmm. however your participation does not uh, create a different context or does not create a new framework for the interpretation of the word of God, mm-hmm. if, if, if you understand clearly what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, so everyone can come. They, they, I mean, whatever the background or the sexual orientation of the persons, mm-hmm. um, they can come to church. Of course, they can worship. They can be part uh, of, of the worship experience. But, but, uh, but, um, but that is how far it will go until mm-hmm. um, the differences are um, addressed. Mm-hmm. And the differences in uh, in in lifestyle, uh, the yeah, differences you in, in the values, risk, and you run in the risk of being labeled discriminatory or even hypocritical. Well, no, uh, no, because mm-hmm. uh, we if we if we look at the the examples in the in the New Testament, Jesus Christ mm-hmm. um, examples himself, he embraced everybody, mm-hmm. and what when he embraced everyone, yet when they came to him. He provided assistance to them, mm-hmm. and the assistance was based upon his mission. Mm-hmm. Um, he did not forego his mission to embrace everybody, but embrace everybody, and provided them entrance into the um, satisfy their need based upon his mission. And the same applies. I like that church. he still found a way to return to that mission. No, no, because it's <laughs> <laughs> there is no other way. Mm-hmm. There is mm-hmm. no other way. Mm-hmm. The church has to maintain its distinction. Right. Uh, the church has to speak to the needs of society, mm-hmm. yet maintain its distinction, or else it is no, it is not fit mm-hmm. to to be um, a, to be part of the society. It's not a church anymore. It it's not a church anymore. It just becomes a mm-hmm. secular um, organization. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, let, let's, let me get Before our break, we're talking about the, the, the situation um, or the impact that these social issues are having on the church, including crime. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. someone asked a question uh, prior mm-hmm. to this last question, I, mm-hmm. and I, I totally forgot. Um, I think um, perhaps he was saying that I, I, um, I was speaking to the, the, the um, women's um, mm-hmm. role, or the, uh, but I lost, I lost sight of the, of the question. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if, if I may just go back to it, because I, I just... Uh, just has a slight remembrance of it, mm-hmm. uh, but but the fact that um, th- uh, those agendas will impact the church mm-hmm. because again the community comes to church. Mm-hmm. We cannot run away from the fact. There is no way we can run away from the fact that the agendas out there will impact the church because we'll, the church is in the community, and those individuals come to church. Mm-hmm. The 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 uh, the children go to our schools. The children mm-hmm. interact mm-hmm. with our children, and one way or another, there is going to be some interaction. Right. What we need to do, what 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 is necessary, is to find a frame, create a framework, or to find a way of establishing guidelines mm-hmm. as to how we will 
interact with them. And again, these things come, the guidelines come from the Word of God. The, those values come from the Word right. of God. Um, because, of the, because there is a feminist movement does not mean that every female is feminist. Mm -hmm. we, we should not begin to think that way. Mm -hmm. because, a male begin, because a male loves being around other males does not mean that he's, a, that he's gay. We, we must not think that way. Because a person is gay does not mean the person does not have, should not have access to the church. We should not think that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yet there are guidelines based upon uh, the word of God. Um, we should not throw people away because of their sexual orientation or because of their prison um, history. Um, there will be challenges as they seek to interact with the church because what you will find, the, the social dynamics are also alive in the church. You will find individuals who mm -hmm. because of a person's history they, may, they will say, well, boy, I'm not going to sit on, that next, on the bench next to that individual. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow this person's child to interact with my child. You know, I need to go to another church. Mm -hmm. Now, don't, uh, we must not believe that because a person is a Christian, those issues don't exist. There, there is going to be a need to, uh, to mature spiritually. Mm -hmm. Until such a time, those challenges exist and will need to be addressed by the local congregation or by um, the leaders of that particular church. Mm -hmm. But those things affect us as a religious organization. This is really a balancing act. So there must mm -hmm. be, there must be a balancing act. Mm -hmm. there, there, there must be a, uh, uh, a desire to embrace difference, mm -hmm. yet not losing sight of the mission. mission. You embrace difference, mm -hmm. or you embrace diversity, mm -hmm. but there is a focal point. There, there is something that guides you in what you do. And that's the word of God. So all of those individuals, even, uh, let's go back to the social impacts, uh, the social problems, how they impact the church. Mm -hmm. um, when, if you have someone who perhaps uh, is an ex-prisoner, mm -hmm. that individual wants to attend a particular church. He um, or she was known, that individual was known for um, housebreaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he wants to be a member of a particular church. And persons are looking back and say, well, boy, mm -hmm. I'm not sure I can have this person around here, you know, because things will begin missing from the church and all of that. We have to be careful. I don't think I want to give this person a ride home and all of that. Mm -hmm. Those are real issues. We cannot mm -hmm. run away from those issues. But we understand that within the context of redemption or within the context of rehabilitation. And we, have, we, we need also to help that individual or those individuals understand even as you seek to, rehab, to, to get rehabilitated, you need to be patient with yourself and with society. Because as much as you want society to embrace you and accept you, it is not going to happen automatically. Mm -hmm. Individuals have the apprehensions, they have the concerns, uh, they may have the fears, and there must be a balancing act. You appreciate the fact that they have this, those concerns, mm -hmm. and you too need to be patient with yourself as you seek to grow. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the individuals who attend those um, churches are human beings just like yourself. Yeah. Excellent segue into my next question because it would yes. be remiss of me if I let you leave without asking you this. You you come with a, and you said at the opening of the uh, opening of the program that you're wearing multiple hats. Mm -hmm. um, you have the unique distinction of being a religious person mm -hmm. as well as a scientist, if I can use that word. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're talking about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. You spoke earlier about the importance of research mm -hmm. and research informing um, decisions and statements by the church. And, and persons perhaps wanting the church to use those scientific pieces right. of information to The gay it. gene. There's a lot of research to suggest that there is in fact a gay gene and that persons are not gay uh, by choice, but rather by nature. I want to get your reaction to that and how that is going to impact um, the church moving forward as it attempts to remain relevant in the 21st century and to deal with these issues in the 21st century, including uh, homosexuality, gay marriage, mm -hmm. and the like. Mm -hmm. um, let me, um, the, the whole issue of same-sex relationships, mm -hmm. those things have existed that, um, for centuries. Mm -hmm. It's not new to our time. Mm -hmm. The Word of God has existed for centuries. Mm -hmm. It's not new to our time. Mm 
The challenges that uh, individuals are now seeking to raise vis-a-vis -vis those two issues, mm -hmm. those challenges have existed long time. Yeah, but the and information all is over new. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the relevance of the information mm -hmm. to our time, mm -hmm. the, the adapting of the information to our time, creates a difference. Mm -hmm. um, nevertheless, the, the Word of God has always dealt with it over time. Mm -hmm. At no point in time is tradition ever higher or finds itself superior mm -hmm. to the word of God. At no point in mm -hmm. time does a norm or is a norm mm -hmm. um, higher than the word of God. At no point in time is the word of God subject to a norm, a scientific research or to a tradition. The word of God remains above and beyond at all times in a class by itself. That is very important to remember. If a person is going to accept the word of God for what it is. Mm -hmm. If you don't, of course, that's another conversation. Mm -hmm. as, we, as we seek to meet the different uh, needs of the community, individuals who are... Uh, same-sex oriented, mm -hmm. um, heterosexuals and, and otherwise transsexuals. Mm -hmm. um, the church has to deal with all of those um, issues and uh, may not immediately uh, make a statement mm -hmm. on all of those issues. Mm -hmm. But one thing is sure, all of those persons um, have access to the community for worship. Mm -hmm. um, I do know as a as an individual who is quite well read, intentionally said, mm -hmm. that um, researchers can speak or can conjure mm -hmm. um, uh, things and statements and, uh, and findings to make a point and to make a statement. Um, a person, as I said earlier on, a male may have, uh, may be effeminate or may, l may begin behave in a certain way um, because he likes pink does not mean he's gay. Mm -hmm. We must get that off our head mm -hmm. because a, a female likes um, to behave like uh, a male does not mean that she is a lesbian. We must not begin to stigmatize people mm -hmm. that way. Uh, a lifestyle is different from a behavior from, from an action or perhaps um, uh, a sexual experience. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to speak to those issues in a profound way as opposed to saying because he's walking this way, that's who he is. Let's look at the fact that individuals create interpretations to satisfy their understanding, their preference. As a church, as a community, we need to be able to respect differences, appreciate differences, yet understand that it is in the, in the appreciation of diversity we can better grow. Yet, we must never lose our distinction as a school, as a, so as a, as a government, as a social group, as a church. We all have our distinctions above and beyond all of those institutions stands the church. And of course we must never lose sight of that all important and, mission. And we must never lose sight of that all important, all important mission and its relevance, relevance. Re relevance to the 21st century. Thank you so much Dr. Bray. We have to leave it there. Unfortunately there's so much more that could be said and discussed. Thank you and sir. I appreciate you spending the last 90 minutes with us. I want to thank our viewers uh, for joining us this evening. For those of you who called, thank you so much. Uh, join us next week for another edition of Newsmaker Live with me, Kendall Burton. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you.